Hey guys, going to do a real quick review of this Energizer headlamp today. Uh, overall, I like it. Uh, the big plus is it is really bright. As you can see, uh, there are two smaller lights on each side, and the central light is the larger, brighter light. Uh, one button operates the side lights, one the middle. One click gives you uh, dim, the next click gives you the bright mode. A third click turns them off. Same thing for the middle light. Uh, they can be used separately. You can use the smaller lights to use less battery drain. Uh, but if you need more light, you can add the center light. And uh, I will say this thing is super bright. I have headlamps that are made for camping, uh, made by companies like Princeton Tech, uh, Mammoth, uh, quality headlamps. And uh, I will say this one is as bright as any, any of those. Uh, it's rated at 200 lumens, but uh, all I can say is anecdotal. It is super bright. This would be fabulous for caving or something like that. Certainly good for uh, camping and uh, using for work if you're working in tight spaces in the dark or something like that. One other thing I like about this a lot is that you get a pretty wide pivot range. Um, you can, if this were on your forehead, you can get a really a low angle on it. And I like that. I find that the wider the range you can pivot, the better. Uh, this uses three AAA batteries, which are accessed uh, right there. The product claims on the packaging water resistance. There is a rubber seal here that would provide some water resistance for the battery compartment. However, the rest of the casing to me does not look like it would be particularly waterproof. Uh, and obviously there is a difference. It does not claim waterproof. It claims water resistance with no further details given. I personally would not want to get this thing super wet. I think you'd be okay in the in a light rain. Uh, but given that there are some gaps on the, the casing, I would not consider this to be a waterproof and I'm, I'm a little skeptical of how water resistant this would be at the end of the day. Like I say, probably okay for light rain but beyond that I'd be a little hesitant. Um, the, the downside to this, I, I, I love the brightness. Uh, you know, powered with uh, AAAs. It does take three, which um, leads us to the downside, which is this thing's pretty big. Uh, it's bigger than any of the compact headlamps that I use and enjoy. Uh, I would say if you were going to be using this for short periods of time, you'd be fine. If you were going to be wearing something for a long time, whether you're working or caving or doing something in the dark, I wouldn't want this strapped to my forehead for a super long period of time because it's really big. If you were wearing a hard hat and you were going to strap this on for climbing, camping, uh, caving, working in, in a construction area or something like that, I think you'd be good to go. So overall, I'm going to give it a thumbs up because at the end of the day, this is a headlamp and what you want is bright light and it provides that in spades. Super bright light. Uh, downside, uh, the only one I really have is the bulk. It's large. So uh, just weigh your uh, factors that you're looking for and make a decision. But overall, I think it's a pretty good lamp uh, for... Uh, brightness, but like I say, a little bit bulky. Thanks.